Oh, hey, we're speaking to you because you're a leader, probably a pastor or an elder or someone who cares a lot about other people and wants to make a difference in their lives. And we have a great friend here uh, today, Pastor Rod Hairston. Um, we got to know each other when you were chaplain for the Baltimore yes. Ravens, uh, but you've been pastoring Messiah Community Church for nine years. Nine years. Uh, and I want to ask a central question. What is the why? What is the reason? What's the deep-seated reason behind why a church should be doing strong marriage training and, and uh, teaching? Well, the why is really simple to me. If we're gonna make disciples, if we're really gonna see people grow in their relationships with Christ, I believe it begins with the marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. When we build strong marriage relationships, we begin to disciple our children. Mm -hmm. People around the community begin to see something healthy and vibrant because that's really what people are looking for. They are looking for what is the model of who God is and how God loves. When they see a healthy marriage, it's easy to bring people into your church because so many people are struggling with their marriages. I'll say this, hmm. that for us as pastors, it's difficult because sometimes our marriages are hurting yeah. as much as the parishioner, the and person And you don't feel the free to share yes. your challenges very often. Absolutely. And so sometimes we feel like we can't speak to the marriage. But the truth is, you don't have to have a perfect marriage as a pastor to esteem marriage and to build it. In fact, I find that my marriage improves anytime I teach on marriage and anytime I make it central to what we do. And I know you believe in equipping people in your church. So the, the, the lay couples, they can be helping people in small groups and leading their own small conferences and mentoring. Absolutely. In fact, I don't I don't do much in marriage ministry except from the pulpit. Mm -hmm. We have a team of lay people who do all of our marriage ministry, conferences and all those things. And I think that's a great structure, equipping other people, getting to conferences like the I Still Do, family life ministry activities will make a big difference. So marriage really is a lighthouse. It's a magnet bringing people to Jesus if they see that Ephesians 532 picture uh, that it's supposed to represent as you spoke of. It speaks volumes when people see marriage working well. People are attracted to it. Discipleship. Thanks for being with us, Rod. My pleasure. And we want to encourage all of you. We're here to support you.